Yeah, we're not shooting from the car either. These games never take into context the cop who's been eating donuts their entire life and has never gone for a run. Like, I know people that would not be able to keep up with her right now. <laughs> Hey everybody, this is Chris the Cop. If you've seen me before, you know I have my own channel and that's because of these bad boys, Gameology. Hey, today I'm in their studio. We're doing another episode of Experts React. And what are we reacting to? Battlefield Hardline. I guess it's a TV show wrapped up in a cop drama. I don't quite know, but let's take a look together. Police! Get your hands where I can see them. That would be a little nerve wracking right there. Yeah, I'm not feeling really comfortable about four on two right now. Those are all threats, man. Someone could come down and pull a gun out faster than you would be able to realize what was happening. And now you still have three guys still spread out in a room. Remember, you really only could focus on maybe one to two people at that time. Oh, see, see. Yeah, I don't know what happened to the guy in the front. I think he was accidentally shot. Yeah, there's a lot of people in trouble at this point in time. These two guys. Hey, stop right there. And let's go into the foot pursuit and leave all the four dead bodies. Damn, that guy got out fast. <laughs> oh yeah, that's how I get in my car all the time. Slide across the hood, definitely. That's policing 101 right there. If police work was like this, we would have so many people wanting to join us instead of having the deficit that we currently have. A realistic police pursuit, we'd be calling it out. You're going to be notifying patrol services that you are in pursuit, obviously requesting additional support, or maybe even Aero Bureau to get on top of this. But given to the amount of destruction that this guy is doing in the city, most sergeants or watch commanders are probably going to cancel this pursuit unless you can tell us why we need to keep pursuing this person. I mean, if they are a serial killer, absolutely. Yeah, we're not shooting from the car either. Though I love the gameplay, real life scenario, we're in a little bit of hot water. Now, could you as a law enforcement officer shoot from the car? Yes, but you're going to have to articulate the reason why. Because remember, every round that comes out of that gun, we have to account for. And those rounds could bypass the suspect and hit an innocent. You got to always think of your backdrop. That's what you have to think about when you're shooting at someone. God, man, I love this technology. We have none of this. Your scanner's connected to every local and federal database. Sure it is. Those databases do not exist. It takes us six to seven months to uh, process DNA. This game takes place on a very large metropolitan city. Metropolitan cities do have a lot more resources than their smaller counterparts. So there are some technologies that definitely I could be unaware of, but this is probably not on the level of any police agency. So what's interesting is I'm watching this, I'm thinking you actually may need a warrant to listen in on this. I mean, you're listening from the outside, but you're actually penetrating the walls of a building which could be in violation of the fourth amendment not to say that they don't have a warrant to surveil this building but i'm going to venture to say that you probably would need one i could be wrong but this is taking place in the united states of america so you got to be able to have the ability to go past these walls yeah, i'm gonna have to look this one up when i get home and ask a couple of detectives that do surveillances what they think about this particular scenario surveillances are usually set up where we will be on the outside perimeter watching people coming and going taking both photographic and video evidence of the personnel of the vehicles do a workup of the actual building who owns it who rents it pretty much build a case there because these people are going to go to different places eventually we could possibly follow them to their location if it's dope see where they're getting their dope from why it's being distributed here if it's something else that's going on you know maybe it's gun trafficking that type of stuff there's a lot of boring intelligence gathering because sometimes you're just sitting in your car for hours and days but it all just depends on the actual scenario and also depending like i was mentioning before about the type of warrants you have that maybe allows you to listen on phone lines, use some type of technology inside of the building that, you know, captures voice, captures video or photographic evidence. Now, in this situation, could they react to what they just saw? There is a good possibility. Maybe they just saw a murder being committed and they're watching the murder get away. Well, that's why you don't take your eyes off the person you're supposed to be watching. That could have been detrimental to her. You cops let them right there. If you're the lead detective, you Sorry, probably could do this, but if you weren't the lead detective, I could see you pissing off the lead detective by letting the bad guy know that they're onto him. So that could definitely mess up the entire investigation. After we get into an OIS, an officer involved shooting, it's a lockdown. We don't get to keep playing unless there's a situation that requires us to keep engaging suspects. This is now a lockdown situation. Patrol is going to respond. Detectives are going to respond. Then the people who investigate police officer involved shootings are going to respond.
respond here in California, you're talking about the district attorney's office. You're talking about if you work for an agency that requires the county sheriff to come out, everything is going to get locked down at this point in time. Like for us, I don't get to go back to work. I have to now spend a week to two weeks off. Got to go talk to a shrink, all this type of stuff that happens. So unlike Lethal Weapon, all these Hollywood movies where I get to go right back to work the next day. Yeah, it does not happen. Sounds like it was a real mess. I always love to on video games, the versatility of our players because these games never take into context the cop who's been eating donuts their entire life and has never gone for a run. All of our characters in video games are always that top notch in shape cops that never get tired. So I do appreciate that fact, but the reality is, is we got some cops that probably could go on a diet and jump on a treadmill from time to time. Like I know people that would not be able to keep up with her right now. <laughs> I love how no one sees anyone in these games. When I play Sleeping Dogs or Alley Noir, I got to do my stealth. And it always just amazes me how this particular time that like, no one ever looks up. But like, once again, it, it is a game and you do have to appreciate it because we do have to move the game forward and be able to do certain things. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. Because <laughs> I carry extra shell casings in my pocket at all times. See, I've done surveillance work before. I and mean, I have to appreciate about games and movies is that they make surveillance work look so freaking awesome. I mean, if I could do surveillance like this, I would never have left being a detective. But in reality, surveillance work is very, very boring. But I'm sure there are some surveillance cops or detectives that get to do this type of stuff. But it's far and in between that we actually get to do a lot of the type of the stuff so very hollywoodish but once again <laughs> loving the whole let's toss these shells <laughs> you have to be stealth when it comes to oh yeah there we go there would be an unauthorized use of force right there stealth would be good like if you're watching some stuff to take some pictures and stuff like that but i just don't see this kind of playing out as well as i'll be honest i'm kind of having a tough time with this use of force here because these are suspects that haven't posed any force towards you as an officer we just don't willy-nilly be able to go walk around and Hey, I'm going to co-cock you and knock you out so I can get to the main door. At this point in time, we probably would be getting a tactical team. You know you need a warrant for that. Play nice, boys. <laughs> Boy, you should have been wearing a vest. I like how the partner has a vest. Why don't we use the radio that's on the left side of his shoulder to call for some additional help and maybe some paramedics? He's armed with a revolver. I probably are going to be utilizing my bullets a little bit, not just giving myself some cover fire. I'm gonna wait for some targets to come out. I don't know how many rounds he's carrying with that revolver. I like the story though. You know how deaf she would be with that gun being fired in her ear right now? I'd be like, real gunfire is very very loud i've been in a situation where my ears were ringing for almost three days now i get it that the player is playing this type of thing but in this situation you would hope that yeah here come the uh, special team to come in yeah i got no heartache over that that's pretty realistic I made the joke about she should have been wearing a vest. Unfortunately, there are some times where detectives will go out in the field and they don't put their tactical vest on because they're doing an investigation and then things unfold. I have been in that situation as well as a detective where I didn't put my tact vest on and then everything just kind of went to crap. And next thing I know, I'm chasing someone and you're pretty much only armed with your gun, a radio, and an extra magazine. And you got no protection. So that stuff does happen. But it seemed like in this gameplay that they knew they were going to be getting into trouble. So I think you would be a little bit more cautious on yourself and maybe take that time to make yourself a little bit more tactical and a little bit safer. Yeah. He does spreadsheets. Okay, I have to say, I was pleasantly amused and amazed with this game. It's going to definitely be on my list of games I'm going to play in the future. Realistic? Eh, you know what? There are some parts that were realistic while other parts are gameplay, but we have to appreciate it. It's just a game designed for our entertainment. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you love this episode and you want to see more episodes, hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell icon for instant notifications. This is Chris the Cop saying goodbye. I've had stuff in my background and I'm like... like you're supposed to be watching the video, you know, like you picked up, you picked up on. Oh, yeah, they pick up on stuff. And I'm like, oh, my, like, like, like little stalkers. <laughs> <laughs>